at the door. Yeah. All right. If you were on just a minute ago, sorry about that. My uh, father-in-law just swung by and I didn't want to be rude to him. So I uh, apologize for that. If you were just on, we attempted to do a periscope, but it were intercepted by my father-in-law um, and I didn't want to be rude to him. So uh, there you go. <laughs> so anyway, we are off and running. All right, so for those, for those that um, have never been on a periscope with me, just know that when I'm driving, my eyes are on the road, not on the screen. And uh, if you can speak while you drive, then you can do what I am doing. If you're unable to speak while driving, good point. You shouldn't be driving. Don't get behind the uh, wheel of a motor vehicle if you are unable to speak while driving. So anyway, three steps to more sales. And I'm willing to bet that if you aren't making a lot of sales, then there is one, maybe more of these steps that you are that you need to improve or that you're just flat out not doing. So three steps or more sales. Um, number one is um, introduction, okay? An introduction, the reason I say it kind of generically like that is you can introduce people to what you have for sale through two main mechanisms and that's marketing and prospecting. So you can market, you can do something that attracts someone to you, right? That's marketing. Or you could prospect by reaching out to other people and you initiating the conversation. So marketing and prospecting, introduction, okay? So that is phase one, introduction. I would, I'm willing to bet 85% of people in network marketing specifically, they, don't, they just don't do this step enough and that's why they have the results that they should have. And notice I said should have. Okay, if you're get, if you're talking to two people a week and you really get hung up on one of them that expresses mild interest and you're not recruiting either of them, then you're getting the results you should have. Most people don't have a 50% close ratio and you, you know, you're you're getting what you should have. Now, sometimes people in network marketing are actually getting phone numbers, they're inviting people to presentations, they're uh, prospecting like crazy. Well, then why aren't they getting signups? Well, it has to do with one of the other two steps most likely. The second step, follow-up. Now, follow-up is actually going to be the main point. It's not going to be the only point, but it's going to be the main point of my webinar that I'm doing on Monday. Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, I'm doing a webinar, a brand new training, I've never done it before, on uh, cold market prospecting, recruiting, and follow-up. So step two, stage two, is all about follow-up. How? What are you saying? If you pull a number, okay, if you meet someone on the street, if you meet someone in the mall, if you meet someone you know, at a networking event, what are you saying when you reach back out to them, okay? That is gonna be the main point, not the only point, but the main point of my Monday night training. And if you'd like to register for that, you can at rayhigdon.com forward slash ultimate. rayhigdon.com forward slash ultimate, okay? So step stage one, introduction. How many people are you introducing to the thing that you are wanting to sell more of? Prospecting, marketing. Stage two, follow up, okay? Most people have PFU, poor follow-up, all right? Stage three is closing. Now, why is that its own stage? Shouldn't that be in follow-up? Actually, it's not, because it is a different, a different mechanic. It's a different um, access, okay? Closing is something that, to be honest, people should study before they even prospect, because if you don't know what you're gonna say based on what they respond with, then you're probably gonna struggle with prospecting properly with closing people and closing deals and closing sales, et cetera. And so the three stages to make more sales are introduction, how many people are you introducing to the thing that you wish to sell, whether it's a product, whether it's your opportunity, whether it's a service. Number two, how many of those people? Now, can you follow up with someone that you never you know, introduced? 
yourself to, that you never introduce your business to, that you never introduce, no, you can't follow up with people that you didn't hit in stage one, right? So stage two is pretty useless if you don't have stage one going, okay? And just like that, stage three is closing. Stage three, what are you going to say to close more sales to the people that you're following up with? If you're a master closer, but you never follow up with anyone, is that a good thing? Does it really matter? It really doesn't. So you really need all three stages. How many people are you introducing each and every day, each and every week to your business, your opportunity, your product, your service? Number two, how many of those people are you following up with? Do you know how rare it is for someone to follow up? It's extremely rare. It is wackadoodle rare. And, you know, when I go out and about, I was just at, I had a meeting on, uh, uh, when was this? Wednesday, I think. Wednesday, I was at Panera Bread. And I had two, I had uh, two meetings there, actually, on Wednesday, I think. Or was that Tuesday? Who knows? Who cares? Um, but I was meeting with somebody, and someone overheard my conversation. I was giving them some advice on marketing of their, uh, their company. And they work with nonprofits, and so I was just giving them some advice. And this guy said, hey, uh, excuse me, I, I heard you guys talking, sorry to, to overhear, but um, are you a marketer? And I said, yeah, you know, I'm a marketer. We have info marketing, we do coaching and training. And uh, he said, oh man, I'd love to follow up with you. I'd love to connect with you. And he said, do you have a business card? And I said, you know, uh, I don't, uh, but if you do, I promise you, I am good at follow-up and I will follow up with you. He said, oh, okay, you know, and he handed me my card. Now, you may, you may hear that and think, Ray, you don't have a business card? Do you know why I just stopped carrying them? Because no one follows up. No one follows up, nobody. So I, why, why waste my time trusting this magical talisman called a business card and hoping that it will magically make them a follow-upper? They're not a follow-upper, all right? Assume that no one follows up and that will be a very safe assumption. And you might be wrong one time out of 10,000 people. That's my guess. My guess is one out of 10,000 people actually do any level of follow-up, okay? But here's what's funny. So I get home and I have his business card, right? So the power is in my hands, not his hands. I'm not sitting by the phone. Hello, Brian, is that you? Oh man, oh, sorry, mom. Hey, Brian, is that you? Oh, oh, come on. The power is in my hands, okay? So I sent him a little email. Now, I'm not saying if you don't have tons of leads that an email follow-up is the best answer. I'm gonna cover that on Monday night. Again, if you wanna register for that, go to rayhigdon.com forward slash ultimate, okay? So if I handed him a business card, I know for sure there is no way he'll follow up, okay? So I got his business card. Thanks for typing that, Ron. You're always the best. RayHigdon.com forward slash ultimate. So I got his business card. I emailed him that day. Well, that was Wednesday. Let's see. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Still no response. See, most people don't even follow up when you follow up. Okay. Now, if I was really, you know, hungry for his business, Okay, if I was really going after it and I didn't have leads and I didn't have prospects coming into me every single day, then I would have called him. And I'm gonna tell you what to say on that follow-up call on Monday night's training. So make sure you register, rayhigdon.com forward slash ultimate. Yes, I have my Colts jersey on. Come on, Colts. Come on, baby. We're 0-2. Come on. It's against the Titans. You can do this. Come on, Colts. If you're if the if Andrew Luck is watching right now, I highly doubt. But if he is, come on, man. Come on. We gotta win one, man. We gotta get. We gotta win one. So, what is your team? Give me a shout out if you're a uh, American football fan. I see Raiders. I see Packers. Cowboys. If they have no card, good question. I will cover that on Monday. If they have no card, then I pull up my phone and I get their information. Okay. Seahawks, Chiefs, any other Colts, any other Hoosiers? I'm from Indiana. No more Hoosiers. Oh, I usually have a few. Steelers, Cowboys, Roy Royals, okay? You live in Scotland. Steelers, Lions, Dolphins. Okay, cool. All right, well, anyway, so we're going to jump in. We're going to watch uh, probably a little bit of the game. And uh, <laughs> if it's really good, then all the game. Um, <laughs> and uh, get some lunch here. So appreciate you guys. Hope you got value from this. Remember, three stages. Introduction, 
follow-up closing, we're going to really hammer on that number two stage on Monday night, rayhigdon.com forward slash ultimate. Anywho, hasta la vista, my friend.